This is not because of the sickness. This is because of something way, way worse, possibly way, way worse. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday in our day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is why hoarding stuff might actually make sense. So let's get it. By the way, all the update vlogs right here, watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Well, it's less lighthearted, so let me put my eyes down. And also this is not in regards of the Therabetha sickness. If you're confused, check out this vlog right here. This is not because of the sickness. This is because of something way, way worse, possibly way, way worse. Now, this is just my speculation, just my opinion, but I thought I should probably talk about this. In my last vlogs, as I said, I tried to keep it lightheartedly. I talked about my preparations, my pantry, my survival strategies for the sickness, but what's coming next, what might be coming next, might be way worse. Now, the sickness just caused a chain reaction. It is about to pop the almost everything bubble and well, the aftermath might be crazy. And in my opinion, what I'm going to tell you is a no-brainer everyone can and should do it because why not why would you risk it why would you not do it okay there are reasons i will get to them as well but yeah food supplies in times of the sickness yeah we saw it all in italy it does happen but i'm suggesting to hoard stuff well to prepare not because of a supply shortage no that's not the reason i suggest to hoard now because prices are still stable i'm afraid of rising prices due to inflation and possibly hyperinflation so while the prices are still stable while the currency euros dollars are still stable i would well hoarding is just such a negative word i would just prepare and stock up create a deep pantry back here i have a food supply that will last me around 60 to 70 days but i plan on stocking up to at least 180 days so this will be three times as much and maybe possibly even more who knows if you're already consuming canned food or like a lot of pasta and stuff like that this will take a very long time to expire so when you go out shopping just buy 10 times as much. I think this is a good period where you can actually do this again because panic buying, panic shopping is coming to an end, I think. If this will happen, this is probably now the last possibility that will allow you to hoard without big problems, I guess. Everything is happening very fast. The Fed is printing a lot of money and all the other banks will probably follow suit. This can have unforeseeable consequences. Unforeseeable. <laughs> was another German word. Unforeseeable consequences, okay? So people are already losing jobs and if this gets combined or possibly multiplied with the effect of rising prices, oh my god, it's, uh, it's going to go down, I guess. So I, for my part, and again, it might not, nothing might happen, but there are chances. I, for my part, I plan on building myself a deep pantry, at least 180 days of safe days. If something crazy will happen and we switch to another currency system, or I don't know, this will at least sustain me in terms of food. Now my rent is probably still going to kill me, but I at least won't have to pay crazy prices for food. So that is my current thinking. If nothing will happen whatsoever, then okay. Then I just don't need to go shopping for the next 180 days. So that's not a problem for me. Actually, this is kind of convenient. So really, I don't see a reason why you sh wouldn't do it. Oh yeah, actually, this could of course compromise your lifestyle if you're into fresh uh, fresh foods on a daily basis or if you like to order stuff so this won't work with such a lifestyle but pasta and canned foods are actually surprisingly good okay well i eat to just give my body energy not to enjoy it mostly so i guess it depends on your lifestyle just wanted to share my thoughts oh yeah not only food of course also toilet paper <laughs> whenever this will be back in stock toothpaste all of this hygiene, hygienic, all of this stuff. The more I think about it, the more I want to actually go for a full year of pantry. But 180 days will be the next goal. And when I get there, you can check it out right here. Pantry update, 180 safe days. So yeah, I guess I will see you there because that's it for this one. Smash that like button the way the Fed is on the best way to smash a dollar. All right. Well, who knows? Probably. Pain the bell like pop. Never miss update vlogs and check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.